Hello friends, a very welcome to yet another new episode of my channel RG Innovations. Please subscribe to my channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all notification of my future video uploads. In my previous video, I have shown OR gate, rather two input OR gate. And in today's video, I am going to show you four input OR gate. In this video, I am not going to do any discussion or explanation about what is OR gate and how does OR gate work. I will only show an IC which is CD4072 that is a 4 input OR gate and I will show only the demo of that. So let us first have a look at how does the symbol of an OR gate look like. So this is a 4 input OR gate, 4 inputs A, B, C, D and output. And this is the truth table of a 4 input OR gate. A, B, C, D are inputs and O is the output. So you can see only if 4 of the inputs are 0, the output is 0 and if any or all of the outputs are 1, the output is 1. So this is the truth table of the 4 input OR gate. Today I will show you CD4072 as I have mentioned which is a 4 input OR gate. Here is the schematic of the IC. You can see there are two 4 input OR gates. One is this, another is this. So pin number 1 is output for OR gate 1 and pin number 2, 3, 4, 5 are the inputs and for OR gate 2 pin number 9, 10, 11, 12 are input and pin number 13 is output. Pin number 14 is connected to positive power supply and pin number 7 is connected to negative power supply or the ground and pin number 6 and pin number 8 are no connection pins. So let us have a look at the circuit diagram that we are going to test today. This is the IC CD4072. We will work on only one segment of the OR gate, only the first OR gate. So here we have taken four switches which will be giving the input. This is key A, this will be input A, this is key B, it will be key input B, this is key C, it will be input C and key D will be input D. Four LEDs are connected with these input switches so that we can see the status of the input, whether the input is high or the input is low. A resistance is connected with the LEDs to limit the current, to limit the power supply to the LEDs. And these are fed into the input pins of the IC. Input A, input B, input C and input D. Now we can see pin number 14 is connected to the positive power supply and pin number 7 is connected to the negative power supply. All the input pins are connected to the ground with a pull down resistance of 10K. If we do not put the pull down resistances in the circuit, the output will fluctuate when no input is provided. So we have grounded them with a pull down resistance. Now the output pin which is pin number 1 is connected to an LED to show the output status via a resistance that will limit the voltage and current. So this is the circuit. Now we will see the practical demo. If you want to see the explanation and the basic function of an OR gate, please visit my previous video. I will give the link in the i button and in the description. So here you can see this is the CD4072 IC. This is the notch at the left side. So pin number 1 will start from here. So this is pin number 1, the output pin. And these 4 are input pins, pin number 2, pin number 3, pin number 4, pin number 5, pin number 6 is no connection pin and pin number 7 is ground. Then pin number 8 is a no connection pin, pin number 9 is input, pin number 10 is input, pin number 11 is input, pin number 12 is input, pin number 13 is the output pin and pin number 14 is the VDD or the positive power supply pin. So we will put this IC on the circuit board, on the breadboard and see how this 4 input OR gate works. So you can see this is the circuit that we have built as per the circuit I have previously shown and these four switches are input switches that will provide the input A, input B, input C and input D. All these are currently at OFF status or LOW status. Now we will put the IC on this board. Here is the IC and we are putting it on the board. So we have put the IC on the breadboard. Now we will give the power supply. So we are connecting the power supply pins. And we will connect it with 5 volt DC. So as all the inputs are now in low status, the output is also in low status. Now if we turn any of the input to high, the output will be high. So you can see we have turned input D to 1, so the output is 1. If we turn input 1 to high, the output will be 1. If we turn Input B to 1, the output will be 1. If we turn input A to 1, the output will be 1. Now if we go according to the truth table, we can see 
जीरो 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 इज जीरो 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 वन इज वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो इज वन जीरो जीरो वन वन इज वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो इज वन जीरो वन जीरो वन इज वन जीरो वन वन जीरो इज वन जीरो वन 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 इज वन नाउ वन जीरो 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 इज वन वन जीरो जीरो वन इज वन वन जीरो वन जीरो इज वन वन जीरो वन वन इज वन 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 जीरो जीरो इज वन 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 जीरो वन इज वन 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 जीरो इज वन एंड वन 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 इज वन सो यू कैन सी इफ एनी और ऑल द इनपुट्स आर हाई द आउटपुट इज हाई एंड इफ ऑल द इनपुट्स आर लो द आउटपुट इज लो सो दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ अ फोर इनपुट और गेट और सी डी फोर जीरो सेवन टू आई सी वी हैव टर्न ऑल द इनपुट टू जीरो एंड द आउटपुट इज देन जीरो सो दिस वॉज द डेमो ऑफ फोर जीरो सेवन टू आई सी और अ फोर इनपुट और गेट इन अवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कम विथ एन एंड गेट एंड वी विल शो द फंक्शनलिटीज एंड ऑल द डिटेल्स ऑफ एन एंड गेट सो अप टू दिस इन टू डेज वीडियो इफ यू लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज हिट द लाइक बटन एंड डू नॉट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल वी विल मीट अगेन इन अव वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय टेक केयर हैव अ नाइस टाइम